Hi everybody, my name is Rebecca and I'm the band director of Pegasi Lighting. We're a family run and operated business and we've been around since 1980. We're really proud to say that we've been lighting our customers' homes for over 40 years. We have stores nationwide and a website at www.pegasi.com. Today, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the story behind the brand. So back in 1980, before Pegasi even existed, my mum and dad, Laura and Alan, knew that they wanted to do something more exciting than what they were doing. My mum worked in a bank as a cashier and my dad selling computer software. My mum knew she always wanted to work for herself, but didn't really know what she wanted to go into. Two of her best customers in the bank, owned, one owned a lighting shop and one owned a card shop. She thought, they sound like good options to me. Those guys seem to be doing quite well. So then she went out and looked for a store. She found her first store in West George Street in Glasgow. And when she looked at the location, she knew that the customer who owned the card shop was just round the corner and she couldn't do that to them. So there you have it, the story about how Pegasi became to sell lights. People often ask where the name Pegasi came from. And if you want to get technical, yes, it is pronounced Pegasi, but I'm very Glaswegian, so I say Pegasi. It was actually two family names that got put together and out of coincidence, Pegasi is actually an Italian name. So at age 23, which blows my mind, my mum went out and started selecting lights for her first shop. At that point, all of the lights that Pegasi stocked were Italian lights and they were handmade with lots and lots of gorgeous detailing. My mum quickly became well known in Glasgow for someone who you would go to if you were doing up your home. She had one of the biggest selections of lights in Glasgow and if you were doing up your living room, you knew you had to go and see her and she would help you pick your lights and deliver them, no problem at all. My mum then went on to have two children, myself, Rebecca, and my sister, Lindsay. And at that point, she grew the business, but more of a lifestyle business. At one point, she had three stores in Glasgow and the surrounding areas, an amazing team behind her to help keep them going whilst raising two little girls who were terrors. In 2002, my mum realised people weren't really shopping in the high street anymore, especially not for lighting. The main street of Glasgow was not where you go and then lug table lamps home. So she said to my dad, I don't know, it's really not working here. And he asked the question, well, where are people shopping now? She said, well, out of town retail parks seem to do really well, but they're just too big for us. We couldn't fill one of those shops. So that Saturday, they went to Uddingston, where we still have a store now, and they looked around and found a unit that was much bigger than what they were used to. Even though that was overwhelming at the time, they knew they had to give this a go and see what they could make of this brand. My dad took a sabbatical from work to come in and help my mum with the business. And guess what, guys? He never went back. He's still here today. They worked day and night getting that big empty store full of lighting and on the day that it opened, the lovely Lanarkshire people that knew us so well from a store in Hamilton came on by and made it a success. From there, they knew that they really wanted to give this a go, so they went out and tried to find new locations for new stores throughout Scotland. They went and found locations from Aberdeen down to Glasgow and expanded throughout Scotland. Today, we have stores in Scotland and in England, as south, far south as Walsall. And we're really, really proud of the amazing team that we have across all of our locations and our head office here in Glasgow. I couldn't be more proud to say that my parents have grown this business to be the UK's largest independent specialist lighting retailer. We don't only specialise in lighting though. We also branched out, which is quite a funny story, into mirrors, artwork and now furniture, which we sell loads of to our amazing customers every year. We wanted to make sure that we had all of our lines in stock to take away with you when you were in the shop. Back in the day, it was really often for lighting stores to only be showrooms and you had to wait 10 to 12 days for delivery. And that just wasn't good enough for us. We wanted to make sure that you could take your light away and get it fitted ASAP. If you see the light in the store, you can take it away with you that day and turn your house into a home. Back in the 1990s, my mum really wanted to start stocking mirrors because she knew that our customers would love them. But my dad, he wasn't so keen. We were a lighting retailer, we didn't do mirrors. My mum is a strong-willed woman though, so mirrors were in the shop the next weekend, he didn't even know, and they took off like a steam train. So here we are today with a massive selection of mirrors in our stores, and we've all got my mum to thank for that. And what about me? How did I come into the family business? Well, to be honest with you guys, 
I never wanted to. I'd always said, I want to make my own way. I don't want to work for my parents. So I did a degree in marketing at university, which I loved. And then I went away and did a gap year. When I came back from that gap year, it was the middle of a recession, not ideal for job hunting. So after about a month of being at home, my dad said, get into that office and do some work. I wasn't that happy about it, to be honest, because it's not what I wanted to do. And I started out just doing a basic admin, putting on purchase orders, typing up spreadsheets, all that kind of stuff. From there, I started thinking, actually, I don't mind this that much. I really, really enjoyed working with my mum and dad. After becoming the marketing manager, which I loved, we then had the project of getting a transactional website. That was massive. I was not prepared for it. How did I go about, with no web knowledge, setting up a website? We got flung into the boardroom for six months and got told to get on with it. So for months on end, I liaised with web developers and designers and I put products up on the website. And in 2012, we launched our website. And the website, once it was launched, was an immediate success. We couldn't even believe it that you guys were shopping on Christmas Day. In 2014, as the business grew, my mum was getting overwhelmed with her workload and she knew she needed someone to help her out. She said the only person she really trusted to help her out in picking all of her amazing lights was me, which was such an amazing privilege. So from there, I moved on from the website into buying and the minute I started the buying for Pegasi, I really felt like that's what I always should have done. I loved being able to bring all these gorgeous lamps to life and seeing them in your guys' homes. There's nothing that brings me more joy than when I see photos of our lights in your homes. I love being part of the process of making your house a home and when I see one of the lights in your gorgeous rooms and how it brings it to life. One of my favourite parts of being the buying director of Pegasi is that I get to travel the world with my mum, how lucky am I, and go and select lights for you guys. When I go into a factory and I'm looking around trying to find that perfect lamp, it's not about me, it's about you and what's going to look amazing in your homes. When we started an Instagram account, it was incredible for me. I was getting to see our product, but in your home, and it really helped me understand what you guys needed from Pegasi. So when I'm there looking around, deciding what to bring in for the next year, I'm thinking about what trends there are, but also how you use your home. Is that floor lamp something that's really going to bring that coziness to that corner? Do you need a touch lamp for beside your bed? Or is that wall bracket going to fit the size of your home? You wouldn't believe the detail we go into when we're out there. My mum and I decide, what's the cable colour? What's the colour of the plug? Where's the switch going to be? Is it going to be dimmable or is it not? And then the people threw in LED. That was a brand new technology for us. So these products are exclusive to Pegasi, which makes me so proud. And when I bring in a ceiling light, for example, and it does really well, straight away, I know that you're going to want a table and a floor lamp to go with it. So my job from there is to get designing and figure out how we can make a table, floor, wall, non-electric pendant, whatever it is, to fit in your home. And as Pegasi is growing from strength to strength, we really wanted to create more content for you guys so that you can learn more about us and so that we can learn more about you. So as Pegasi grows from strength to strength, I love having you guys along on the journey with us. And I can't wait to see how you use our beautiful lights to light up your homes and lives in the future.